Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. We are talking about educational gifts for the holidays that you can give your kids. In today's video, we have some fabulous things that are sponsored by Junior Learning, and I can't wait to show you all the fun things. If your child is in love with fidgets, especially the bubble poppers, I have some great selection for you. And before I show you these, I also want to point out the ones that I showed you last year because they still have them available and they are also great options. In last year's gift guide video, I showed you the one to 120 boards. This is a very great tool, especially when learning about numbers, number order, number recognition. There are so many different activities you can do with this. I've actually done videos on 100 boards before. And so you can look at those past videos for even more ideas. What is cool about this one, one is printed, the numbers are printed on each side and it's a bubble popper. So you can have this great sensorial play with it. So this is the one to 120 board. I'll have to put that video up in the corner if you want to learn more about how to use a 100 board. There's also the one to 100 board, which is very similar. It just goes up to 100, same thing that we saw last year. But once you've mastered that, you can go on to the addition board. So this one's recommended for ages five and up and it's to learn addition from one to 10. It's the same concept with that fabulous bubble popping action. The addition board has the numbers across the top and numbers across the bottom, one through 10. And if you were to do a math problem, it will correspond. You can take one plus one and this will be two as it marked on the bubble. You can take five plus five and right here will be 10. So you can use this in different ways. You can use it to actually guess the answer before you actually search for it. You can use it to check some math that you've already done. You can also use it with flashcards. Number relationships is also important. So four plus six is 10, but if we add two more, it's 12 and you can count that right onto the bubbles. Great one for moving up from the 100 board or the 120 board. Last year, I also showed you these and they are the 10 frames and they come in this package of beautifully colored different ones. And they have the numbers on them one through 10, just like a 10 frame. So you could use this with manipulatives. You could use it for doing math problems for each frame, for adding, subtracting, lots of cool ways to use this. And I love these. I think they are an excellent addition to doing some very hands-on learning by pushing the bubbles and counting with the 10 frame. So another option that's available, and I'll have to link that one down below too, because I really do like these. Need something a little bit harder? How about the multiplication bubble board? This is learning to multiply one through 10. It's recommended for ages six and up and very similar to the addition board. It has the numbers across the top and across the bottom, but this time it's multiplication and it's the same concept. So if you take, let me pop those there. If you take a number from the side, say it's five times nine, it'll have 45, the answer there. So you can use it very similarly. Use it with flashcards, use it when you're checking your work, use it to solve math problems in your head and check your answer. A lot of fun ways to use this. And of course we like those. It's good for learning and memorizing multiplication facts too, because you can do a very good visual. You can say, do all the ones. So one times one is one, one times two is two, one times three is three. If you like to do the memorization of those multiplication facts. Before I show you this one, because this one is more about words, I do have this one, which is the number track bubble board. This is recommended for ages four and up. For this one, we have numbers all the way from one to 20. One through 10 are in blue and 11 through 20 are in red. Kind of got all my stuff here. So this is your basic number line and you can use it with all of those number line activities that you normally do with a pen and paper. Use it for number order, counting as you off as you go all the way up. I think it's fun to combine this with fine motor with some little pom-poms and placing them into each one as you go and counting and doing some one-to-one -one correspondence that way. You could also use this for addition as you would a normal number line. You can say, okay, you have five. So you start with five. And what would it be if you were to add five more for five plus five? You can say 10. Very cool hands-on way to do some math. And let me show you this one. This one is called the Tricky Word Search Bubble Board, recommended for ages five and up. 
And this one, if you can see, has all kinds of different letters on each single different bubble. It's also double-sided. Now on the back of the package here, it talks about the different tricky words that are on this board to find. And there's two different phases. We have phases two to three, and that gives you a whole word bank here for the front. And then this side is the back with the other tricky words to find for phases four to five. So a little bit more difficult. You look for these words and look for as, and I see it right here on the top, A-S, and I have found that word. I can look for here, H-E-R-E, -E, full, which is on the list here, F-U-L. Oh, so it's like a word search in a bubble board with two different phases. I would use this also with writing, so writing out the words that you find. If you have some letter alphabets at your house, like a movable alphabet, I'd also pull those together so you can create the word too. Even with a dry erase board would be fun to write the words that you find to keep track. If you get a second one of these, you can even have races to see who can find all the words first. This is the alphabet arc. We have the full alphabet here for ages four and up. And so we start at A all the way over here, going over to Z. On the back side is the lower cases. So we have lowercase and uppercase on one side. What's also cool is that the vowels are in red all the way through our arc and the consonants are in blue, similar to some movable alphabets. This is great for letter recognition, both in uppercase and lowercase, recognizing letter order. You can pop them as you say the alphabet. You can ask what comes between two letters. You can say find all the consonants or find all of the vowels. You can do a letter hunt. Can you find the K? Can you find the P? Can you find the lowercase P? Can you find the uppercase? Really, really like all of these bubble boards, you guys. There's so many different ways to use them and they're a great way to really reinforce some skills you might already be teaching in your house or your kids might already be learning. And it's a fun way to just kind of expand on that. And the kids just love those poppers anyway, so it just really works. It's a win-win. all of my bubble poppers off the screen but I found this one and I had to remember to show it to you it was kind of hiding away over here but this is the bubble popper CVC words and this is for ages four and up and this is cool you guys these are 12 that one's upside down these are 12 double-sided CVC word bubble poppers Make sure I got all of them here and what we have on these are three bubbles and each bubble has one letter they're marked with blue ink for the consonants and red ink for the vowels and so we have different words so this one says bed and you can pop it b-e-d you can flip it over and see the other word which is a uh, leg l-e-g and then you can try another one dog d-o-g and then on the other side is pen p-e-n M. A great way to reinforce CVC words. Such a creative way to learn and reinforce all of these concepts. I just think it's so cool. So. watch my junior learning gift guide video last year because if so you guys said you loved the dominoes from junior learning oh my goodness I got so many comments about these dominoes this year I have some more because I needed to include them again and they came out with some other sets that I knew you guys would absolutely love so I've got a couple different ones here that I want to show you and we're starting all the way down at the preschool age with these which is very exciting this set is for ages three and up and this set is the things that go together set let me push those over we'll get to these in a second but just to show these real quick these are all traditional domino sets the instructions are written right on the back of the tin super simple and easy just like you would play any domino game I do love that it comes in these containers I will have to say that right off the bat because you know me in a good storage container these are tins so they are going to be a great place to store all of your dominoes this is the things that go set and so it is a match and learn set this is the only one I want to show you today that has only pictures so if I were you you, I would start off by showing a couple of these dominoes and working on a smaller set and just doing some picture recognition first. So saying this is rain, this is socks, talking about the vocabulary on here. What do you think this is? What does that look like? Oh, that's a shovel. That's a cup. Because part of the game of dominoes and particularly with the preschooler is recognizing these shapes and items and vocabulary. You can start off real simple by just presenting a few dominoes like this and saying, do you see anything that matches? And they can look at all the pictures and say, yes, those nails match or that knife matches. Or let's see if I have another match I can make here. I need another match. Oh, here's some rain socks and there's some 
rain and socks that match right there. Then once you've kind of mastered the objects and what they are, and maybe even matching, you can move on to domino. So this game is things that go together, not things that match. So we can find, okay, what matches with our rain that would probably be an umbrella. So we can work on things that go together that way. Easy way to introduce dominoes, working on categorization and vocabulary at the same time. That is for our three years old and up, things that go together. I've got more, I've got ages four and up. This one is CVC dominoes. This one's a little bit different because it's not all pictures. This time we have a picture on one side, we have the CVC word on here, and then we also have our color codes down here, little dots that have the blue, red, blue for consonant, vowel, consonant. Same thing I would do with this one is just to kind of go through this and recognize the pictures and the words because those might be unfamiliar to your child. Cap, bed, pig, rug, thin, pig, once we've worked on that concept, then we can start matching up things and actually playing dominoes. Extend this even further. You can have kids pick out one out of a pile and use it as a story starter. Write a story about a fin and a pig. <laughs> Write a story about a cap and a bed and see what you can come up with that. But this game expands on that CVC concept and learning some of those CVC words. Next up is ages five and up. This one is decoding. I think this one might be one of my favorites actually. So we have the words here and then we have the little indication on the bottom too of what type of word it is where the constant and the vowels and the blends and all that good stuff are located in the word and then we have the picture on the other side. Same thing with the CBC ones. I mean you can introduce it very simply and, and checking for understanding of the words that are on there and then you can play the dominoes and then you can expand with the dominoes after that. You know my kids even love of setting up dominoes, <laughs> whoops, as little um, knockdown domino kind of things. So I can definitely see my kids taking this and doing that kind of thing. Anyway, a really cool set with that too. Lots of different word options. I think it'd be great to start with one of these, the CBC words, and once these skills are mastered, working on the decoding and using these dominoes together. I think that would be really good in increasing your set. That's just how I would, I would do it. So we have the decoding dominoes, which I know you guys are gonna love those. And then ages six and up, they're the homophones. Once again, a little bit different in where we have the pictures and the word under the pictures. So we have C and steak, one and tail, dough and jeans, pear and break. Let's see, do we have another steak? Here's just another steak. So we have steak as the one you put in the ground, S-T-A-K-E. We have steak that you eat, S-T-E-A-K, and then those would be your domino pears. Let me see if I can find another one here for you. Oh, here's one, flower, F-L-O-U. R and flower, F-L-O-W-E-R. And of course, when you're all done, you guys know I love how they just all go back in their container. So we've got the homophone dominoes, the decoding dominoes for five and up, for four and up, we have the CBC words and things that go together for the three-year-olds. Love, 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 love these sets. This little box is the CCVC Builders. It's for ages four and up. And this box actually comes with all of these pre-made cards for you. And you're working on your CCVC words and your blends. And we have a couple of different sets here. What's great about this is that it gives you the picture form on the, the top of the card, but then at the bottom it segments it out and it has labeled colors on here to know which ones are consonants and vowels. And then on the back side, it actually has the word that you are trying to build so you can self-check. And we've got a couple of different sets. These, this one has five letters on it and there's three of those cards. And then we have a whole stack here too. Lots of different options and words. So this is a great vocabulary builder, also working on some spelling and recognizing those CCVC words. This set works really, really well with this guy. It's a CVC tub. There's 90 pieces in here, also for ages four and up. Love that it has the handle on top. Inside here, we have individual triangular shapes with letters on them. And once again, we have the consonants in blue and then our vowels in red. The blue letters have have a little knob on here that actually fit together with other pieces 
to form words. So you can build words. So great set to use by itself, but also really great set to use with this CCVC box. I also think they have a CVC box too. So if you're on the lower levels of learning this, try the CVC box. So we take one of our cards. This one is tent. We can build our word using all of these pieces. There's a different letter on each side, but here is a T. And of course, since my camera's angled that way, I'll show you when I'm done. But since they're triangular shape, you can only see the top there. We have our E to put on next, found in N and then a T for the end. And there we have built our word for tent. At this point, you can do a self-correction by just turning over the card and seeing if it matches, which it did. Good job, Christina. And then we can flip it back over and we can build more words after that. I do love that you can use these alone or with other activities, not just with these activities too. It's a really fun tactile way to build words. If you like some of the items in this video, I'm very excited to share with you a giveaway for five winners. You get to pick your choice of one of the different bubble boards. First of all, make sure you are subscribed to the Purple Alphabet YouTube channel, then head to the giveaway link, which is in the description box below to officially enter to win. You must be 18 years of age or older and have a US postal address. We're announcing the winners right after Thanksgiving, so you can take advantage of that. Don't forget all of the other holiday gift guide videos. There are so much going on and every one of those holiday gift guides has a giveaway so you definitely want to take advantage of that you guys click subscribe to see more videos like this share this video with your friends and family and give me a thumbs up to show your love